Hey, George. No, I want to cut now. I'm my mate. Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm Cricket Maker George. And I'm Ken. And today, we're going to show you what you do after you unbox your new Cricut Maker. The setup portion. And your first cut. Ooh, yeah, the first cut. I can't wait to make our cuts. So, we're going to show you everything that happens on the computer and everything that happens on your Maker. So, Ken will do the computer portion. And I'm going to go around the side of the table so I can see the front of the maker and feed materials in. Okay. And today, I'm using my Mac. Yay! The setup is going to be very similar to what you experience on a Windows machine. So we're probably not going to do another video just for Windows. But I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. So, we're going to move our manual and project materials out of the way. Leave the mats there for now, and open up the maker. All right, Ken. So the box told us to go to cricut.com slash setup. Yep. So that brings us to this page. It brings us to this page, and it says getting started. So I'm going to click that. So it says, let us set up your machine, create a Cricut ID, and make a fun project. So I click get started. And you would create your Cricut ID by filling out this form. And the reason you want to make a Cricut ID is all of your projects and all of your artwork that you upload are saved to the Cricut cloud under your Cricut ID. So you want to have one central account that you're working with. Ken, put it under my ID. It's my maker. At the bottom of the form, it says, already have a Cricut ID? Sign in. And we already have a Cricut ID, so we're not going to go through this entire create a Cricut ID process. But it's just a simple form to fill out. And I'm going to sign in with George's account. Then we have a few little survey questions. Getting to know you. Where do we first hear about this Cricut machine? Cricut website. Have you owned another Cricut machine? Yes. The first place we heard about it was the email from Joanne's. <laughs> How would you describe your experience level as a DIY crafter? Beginning, intermediate, advanced, or expert? Expert. And continue. Now it's saying to connect the machine. And today we are going to use the USB cable to connect. We'll have a video in the future about connecting with Bluetooth. For now, though, we're using the USB cable. And it has all the instructions right on screen. Plug the square end of the USB cable into the back of the machine. So you can see the different ends of the cable. The square, kind of rounded square end, is the end that goes into the back of the machine, right by the power. And then you plug the rectangular end into the USB port on your computer. And we've already plugged our power into the outlet. And you plug the power into the back of the machine. And then press the power button. And there's a note. Ensure there are 10 inches of space in front of and in back of the machine. And if you're new to Cricut, that's because the mat that you put your materials on gets moved by the rollers. So the mat will be moving in and out of the machine. So you want to have 10 inches at the back, clear space so it doesn't hit anything as the mat moves, and enough space at the front so when it's moving the mat on the rollers, it's not running into anything which could possibly change the quality of your cut. Then at the bottom, we can continue. And it wants us to update the firmware. Yay, update firmware. <laughs> What's firmware, Ken? The firmware is the code inside the machine that tells the machine how to work. 
firmware update is going to update it to all the latest and greatest features and commands within your Cricut Maker. It's already connected, so right at the top, it noticed that I was on the Maker USB, and it says, click update firmware below, which is this button. There's a note that the power button will change color and the machine will restart in a few minutes. And it also says the current version is 4.139 and the required version at this time of recording is 4.148. So we should also mention here that the official release of the Cricut Maker is August 20th. And we got this early from a friend that mailed it to us. So things might change between now and the official launch of the Cricut Maker. So with that, I'm going to click Update Firmware. Downloading firmware, 100%, almost instantly. So the light changes to red, and the Matt Feed button lights up white. And it said that it was rebooting the machine, and now it's saying Updating Firmware, and there's a progress bar. We're already at 80%. And it rebooted, so it's doing its little power on sequence again. And on screen, it says successfully updated to version 4.148 with a green check mark and a continue button. So, get your free gifts. This Cricut machine comes bundled with a collection of free images, fonts, and projects. You'll receive instructions to access the gifts once your machine is set up. By accepting these gifts, you agree to Cricut's term of use. And we're going to click Accept Gifts. And those gifts are going to go on the account you just created. So make sure that it's either the account you created or you're signed in with the account that you want to receive those free gifts. No going back. Accept gifts. They're my gifts. Because it's your maker. Yay! And then... There's some information about Cricut Access. It gives you all that. And you can sign up for Cricut Access and get four weeks free. It's only $9.99 a month after your first four weeks. Cancel at any time. Or get two week free trial, no strings attached. So we're going to go with the two week free trial because we already have Cricut Access. I'm gonna go ahead and click Get Cricut Access. Your free trial begins now. You now have access to thousands of projects, images, and fonts for two weeks. Any project or image you find with a green A is part of Cricut Access, because not everything in the Cricut library is a part of Cricut Access, but the green A lets you know what is. Continue. You're only a cut away. Your Cricut machine is registered and ready. Let's make the simple card included with your machine. With this easy intro project, you'll learn how to ready to make projects, preparing material for cutting, and making your project. You can back out and say no thanks, but we're going to continue. Because I want to make the first project. On screen, it says project details, and it's pointing to the button for the make it. Here you can find all the details about this project and decide whether you want to make it. To make this with your Cricut machine, click make it. And in the background, you can see the project. It's a smile card. And it's got the little printer icon next to it if you wanted to actually print all these instructions out. I'm going to go ahead and click the Make It button that they're pointing at. Now it's loading the Matte Preview, and it says Prepare Matte. This is where your project gets automatically sorted by color onto individual mats. This project has one matte. Click continue. If you had multiple colors, you would see all the mats here with all your different shapes that are going to be cut in that color. And over to the side, with the preview, you can see that it says draw and cut, which means it's going to ask us to use the pen to draw as well as cut shapes out of the material. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Because we only have the one device hooked up, it automatically connected to the maker through the USB cable. First up, it's asking us to set material, and it's pointing and highlighting the cardstock to click on cardstock. 
And now it's walking us through inserting the pen. And it's got a screenshot to open clamp A. Hold the clamp up while pushing the pen down until the arrow on the pen disappears. What they don't say is you want to have the arrow in the front so you can see that. Close the clamp and then click continue on screen. So I hit continue. Now place cardstock on the mat aligning with the top left corner of the grid. So here's the materials. Does it say which material to use? It's the white cardstock because it's the long rectangle in the preview. And for the paper, we're using the blue light grip mat. The pink mat is for fabric only. You don't want to mess up your finish on the mat. And I'm sorry I wasn't clear. You wanted it long ways down the mat. Oh. <laughs> now on screen, it's saying to slide the mat underneath both mat guides. Slide. Okay. So keeping the mat pushed firmly against the rollers, which you don't have to push super hard, just make sure it's up against the rollers, press the load unload button, which is blinking right now. Am I pushing it? Sure. It's your maker. I know. Now it's saying press go. The press the flashing go button on your machine. Which looks like the cricket logo. And first it's doing the drawing. And now it's saying on screen, detecting blade. And now it's cutting. Now it's done. On screen, it's telling us to press the load unload button to unload the mat. Yay! And then on screen, it's saying project complete. Click finish to continue. Now on screen, it's saying unload pen and remove the card. So first step, open clamp A, remove the pen and close the clamp. <laughs> seated Ooh. very firmly. To remove the cardstock without curling, gently bend the mat until one edge releases. So I'm going to close the maker so I have more room. Pretty much you want to bend the cardstock away from the card, or the mat away from the cardstock. I'm sorry, I said that completely backwards. 
Ta -da. And now on screen, I'm going to click continue. And assemble your project. Fold the card in half. Okay, and then insert the liner into the corner slots. So the big, <laughs> you can't see the screen, so the big piece actually pops out. Goes behind, right? Yep. And then in the two corners down below. Actually, there's a corner on all sides. Yeah. This. Way to go! Yay! That's what it says on screen. Yay! I think it looks pretty cool. I always like how it always strikes me as something I never think of about incorporating the liner into the card like that. It's very cute. And I'm going to click continue. On screen, it's now welcoming us to the new design space. And these slides will step you through some basic information. We're not going to dwell on each one, but there's a lot of good information here on learning how to use design space and where you can find a lot of the different features. Now, your adventure starts now. Bookmark design.cricket.com so it's always at your fingertips. And that's where we are right now, so you can bookmark the page. Ready to make your own project? Start designing with the button, or learn to cut fabric with a simple ready-made project. Let's do that! So I'll click Let's Cut. Yay! It's loading a project. I'm going to open the maker. And we're going to make a kite embellishment for the smile card. Ooh, for the smile card! And, as we just learned, all we have to do is click the Make It button. If we scroll the page, though, since we're not being prompted, here you can see, with all the Make It Now projects, it gives you the title, a kind of rating of how difficult it is, and a time estimate. This one's saying less than 30 minutes. There's a description, the dimensions, the materials to cut, and for that, it's saying the fabric sample included with your Cricut maker. And everything else you need is the fabric grip mat, which is included. And you need some adhesive. Next is preparation, cut, and assemble. And it gives you the instructions. And then it says the images and fonts used in this project. And it lists them all out, gives you information, and this is letting us know with the little green A that this is a part of Cricut Access and that it's free. And it's free most likely because it's part of a Cricut Access and we currently have the Access subscription. All of these instructions are pretty straightforward and we're going to walk through them now. If you had trouble remembering the instructions, up top is a printer icon. So you can click that and print out these very same instructions to your printer to keep them handy as a reference. I'm going to go ahead and click on Make It. It's loading our map preview again, and now I can see that the kite shape is going to be cut in the top left-hand corner. Well, that's where I want George to put, place the fabric. It's your maker machine. Work it. So rub it so it's very flat. Make sure there's no ripples or bubbles. Okay, it's in the corner. And I'm going to click continue. It's finding our machine, and as before, it automatically found it on the USB, and now it's asking us to set material. 
And for this, I'm doing a fabric, medium fabric, like cotton. Now it's instructing us to load the rotary blade into clamp B. And there's a little I. If you're unsure of what to do, you can click the I, and it tells you how to install the rotary blade. Open clamp B. <coughs> Insert the rotary blade ensuring that the gears fit together. So there is a protective plastic housing in front here. You make sure that it's pointed out front and then the gears will go together in the back. And then close clamp B. Now press the load the mat and press the load unload button. So I'm going to put it under the little guides here. And now, press the flashing go button. And at the top, it's saying, please unload the map by pressing the load unload button. There's a green button there to show me how, if you're unsure, but just press the flashing arrow. I'm going to close the maker just so I have more room on the table. And I'm going to peel up the fabric. <gasps> wow, look at that, how easy it came up. And then I'm going to bend the mat back until the fabric starts to pop off a little bit. There it goes. Look at that. How crisp the edges are. See, Ken? Mm -hmm. On screen, there's a summary of the activity. And at the bottom, it says finish. You'll notice the button still blinking, the load on load button. But once we click finish, that lets the maker know that we're all done and the button stops blinking. It brought us back to the project, the Make It Now project, and the next step is simply to adhere the fabric kite to the front of the card. So we have some glue. And just put some glue down. And then, it's hard to do this sideways. We're going to put our embellishment over the top. Ta-da! So that was a lot of fun, and really easy, too. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to set up. Go to the cricut.com slash setup and follow their instructions. As long as you pay attention to the pictures and the prompts on screen, read through everything, it's really easy to go do it yourself. And if you're not new to the Cricut line, especially the Cricut Explorer family, this is like old hat. Mm -hmm. So what are your first thoughts about this? I like it. It seems to be well put together and it cut everything quick and easy. Um, I think that it is quieter than the Cricut Explore Air 2 machine when it cuts. Um, I think it's very solidly built. I like the rotary tool a lot. It seems to slice through fabric like butter. Um, one thing I kind of noticed when we put the pen in the accessory clamp is it's right up against this almost, which makes me question on whether we'll be able to use 
third-party accessory adapters like different size pen holders that people might make for it well we'll be able to use them on the maker like we did on the Explore or because this is so close to the accessory clamp will we not be able to also another thing that I noticed is I closed the bottom to make more room in front to work on the card and the pen was still in here well, the only way that we could find to open the front door was to close this and open it. And you have to close it oh, almost all the way. And if you should have your pen in there, you can't do that. You have to reach your hand in here with the door closed, open the accessory clamp, take the pen out, and then close it. So this is really cool that you can close it and open it and it opens and unfolds but it would be nice if you could tug on this just to pop it open and once it's closed it's locked yeah that's very solid like you can see us shaking the table <laughs> so you have to close this and then open it and like i said with a pen or a score tool or something in there if you should have accidentally closed it or forgotten to close it and you're like, oh, I forgot to take the tool out, uh, you're going to have to take it out and squeeze your hand in. And if you have fat hands like me. We'll keep looking to see if there's something we missed, though. And if we find out, we'll let you know. Other than that, this is a really solidly built machine. I'm really impressed. As a first impression, do you need the maker if you've already got an Explorer? That really depends on what you want to do with your machine. If you're a huge sewer, this might save you time with multiple cuts, uh, especially intricate cuts. But I would take a look to see what's available in design space or learn how you can upload your own patterns. But keep in mind when you're cutting, right now your option is the 12 by 12 mat, which is what comes with the machine, or a 12 by 24 mat. So all your patterns would have to be divided into those sizes. Now I know, or I believe, this is focused at the sewers and quilters. I'm not sure that a Cricut Maker is the right thing necessarily for a quilter. For If you're making a quilt of a bunch of squares and rectangles and triangles, I think a quilting die cutter would be a lot faster than this. Because with this, you have to load mat after mat after mat to get it cut. But if you're doing intricate cuts, like many pointed stars or characters or something like that, this would be perfect. But again, it's really an all a matter of trade-offs because maybe I don't have the upper strength to do a die cutter yep. machine and the electronic ones aren't doing a bunch of fabrics. I'm really just doing one or two pieces at a time anyways. This might still be a solution for them. So there's no right answer for you of what's right for you. Well, we can't give them the right answer for them. They have to answer it. Right. That's what I meant. So it's a great machine. If you've been thinking about getting into the electronic cutting machine, we've always said that Cricut had the best machines. We still believe that. And we believe this is a great machine. This is really what I believe the Cricut Explorer Air 2 should have been. But now we have it. Or, I'm sorry, now you have it. Yay. Because it's your maker. That's right. We'll get users on HSN. Remember, the Cricut Maker comes out on August 20th, officially. It'll be for sale at Joann's, Michael's, I think Hobby Lobby, and Cricut.com. Or, you could wait till October 3rd and get it from HSN. Probably on FlexPay with a whole bunch more stuff. So what we've done here is just the tip of the iceberg of what we think Cricut is going to come out with in the future. They've already shown us a knife blade attachment to cut thicker materials. Goodness knows what else they're planning. So over the next week or so, we're going to use this machine in depth and then come back with an in-depth review of what we think of the Cricut Maker Machine. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and follow us. We have a link down below on how you can get social with Crafts by Two. Follow us on Facebook and all social media. That way, when it goes on sale on HSN, you'll be one of the first to know as soon as we know.
So until next time, something in the crafty world comes out new, we'll get it and show it to you. Until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. We want to give a shout out to just some of our patron supporters. Lori Browse, Linda Collins, Gina, Mary Sarkis, Tabitha Carroll, Marjorie Poshia, and Arlene Birchold. Thank you for your support.